Alright guys, we're here on the Racing and Randomness channel to unveil the new car that we just got for us. And what better choice than the Motor Trend number one highest horsepower production car in the United States for 2019 than the 2019 Hellcat Red Eye. We got the Sublime Green, which is one of only 86 made for the entire world, which still blows my mind that more people didn't order this color. But as far as some of the outside attributes go, there's not really much to separate it from a normal Hellcat. The Hellcat itself also comes with the wide body, or you can get the red eye as a narrow body. So there's really no way to tell other than coming over here and looking right here at the emblem with the red eye. That's pretty much the only outside attribute that shows that this is a red eye. Essentially, this car is a demon without being a demon. It has every feature that the demon has, including the demon engine, demon transmission, demon drivetrain, complete. But the only thing this car does not have that the demon has is a trans brake. Everything else this car has, the killer chiller, the after run chiller, all the electronics and other features that the car have, it's basically a demon in cheap clothes. All right guys, so what I wanna do is talk a little bit about one of the cool features that this car has that the Demon also has, and that's the line lock. If we come right down here, we can hit the uh, SRT mode, which brings us into our, our car setup, essentially. And all we have to do is hit our race options here. Okay, so we got our launch control with our adjustable launch RPM. We have our shift light, which is adjustable as well. We have our race cooldown feature which after it passes the track, you can activate that. And what that will do is it will turn on the engine's water pump and your heat exchanger pump and run coolant through the radiator to cool the entire engine and supercharger down while it's sitting. And then of course we have our line lock and that brings up this menu here. And all we have to do is click activate line lock right here. And as you can see over here, it says apply brake pressure. As you can see here, when I apply that, it actually shows the pressure that's being applied to the brakes. As it says here, press OK, and I can let off. Now, all I have to do is push the gas, and when I'm ready, let off. All right, guys, now that we talked a little bit on the video about some of the features this thing has, let's demonstrate one of them, which is one of my favorites, the line line. And what better way than in a real life environment? It's 20 degrees out here, the tires should love it. So let's try this out. We're gonna hit the activate line lock. We're gonna apply brake pressure. I'm holding the okay button and here we go. I think that qualifies as a pretty decent burnout. All right guys, so what I'd like to do now is kind of go through some of these other modes and features that the car has. Um, 
to kind of show you what what this car is capable of so um, first first option here is your SRT mode and you've got four basic different options you got your auto which is going to set everything over to street um, your transmission uh, the shift points are a lot softer they're all, I mean they're like butter you can't even feel the thing shift um, paddle shifters are always on unless you choose to turn them off traction street which is what I would recommend if you're an inexperienced driver buying a car like this because it does have enough power to bite you pretty quick um, these tires that come on these cars do not provide any traction whatsoever on wet dry or any other type of pavement um, your suspension on street is the softest most comfort oriented suspension setting and then your steering is also your loosest steering setting um, when you come over here to sport it turns all these on sport your transmission shifts a little firmer it also does preemptive downshifting when you're slowing down so it's it's always ready to accelerate whether it be out of a corner whether it be away from a stoplight or whatever thing that you might encounter um, your traction gets a little more lenient it allows you to have a little bit more fun before the car takes over your suspension gets a little firmer and your steering also gets a little tighter um, when you bring it over here to track um, in a second here you'll actually hear the you might be able to hear that the fans actually kick on and what that does is when you turn this on track mode it automatically turns on your killer chiller what that does is it diverts all air conditioning coolant into cooling the supercharger and the supercharger coolant which allows for cooler inlet air temps and higher horsepower as you see here the transmission goes to track the shifts on track are extremely firm and it holds gears for quite a long time even if you're taking off from a stoplight it'll hold a gear until 2500 3000 rpms without you even giving it much feedback on the pedal um your traction is the most lenient setting that you can get without turning the traction control completely off um, it does allow you to get kind of kind of crazy before it takes back over um, suspension also gets more firm which would be the firmest setting available on this car it's also the least comfortable oriented when you're driving it um, your steering also gets much firmer it's it it's similar to kind of like the steering settings on the z06 corvette um when you come in here you go to like uh, my custom setting preferred for me is sport traction on track suspension on street and steering on sport you can come in here into the custom mode setup and you can do this on any of the settings um so what you can do is you can choose your highest horsepower or your 500 I don't know why anybody would want to use that um, in 500 you can only have your trans set in street it will not allow you to do any of the other options you can turn your paddle shifters on and off what traction control setup you want what suspension what steering um, that's kind of how I set up my custom mode so I can have it however I want Dodge does make it easy if you hit this SRT button right here two times you double tap it as soon as you get in the car and it actually switches you directly over to your preferred settings so that makes it quite easy um, you can click right here and this brings up a performance gauge page it takes a little second to load here but it's really nice because it allows you to see every aspect of the engine transmission and any other performance oriented options it also allows you to somewhat data log if I come over here and go to gauges let's see this is my inlet cooler temp inlet intercooler coolant temp it's 46 degrees right now as you can see here it data logs for 120 seconds to show you how it does during a run etc um, you can also do your boost pressure trans temp battery voltage coolant temp oil pressure oil temp your air inlet air intake temp and intercooler temps back to there so we come down here you have your g-force gauges like all most cars do left right braking acceleration um, your engine shows your boost pressure your torque your power that it's making it bases that off of a fuel consumption table I'm sure um, 
dyno. This is kind of a real-time dynograph that shows you the power and torque that the car is making. I can't say how accurate that is, but um, it's fun to watch. Um, you have your timers here. You can do a zero to 60, zero to 100. You have your eighth mile ET, uh, quarter mile brake distance, and from what mile per hour you chose to do it from. Um, and then when you come here home, you have these multiple gauges here, which you can adjust and change to whatever you want, which is kind of nice. And then you come down here, you got your media settings, your Bluetooth, aux, USB, um, climate. You have dual climate, just like any of the other Dodges do. You have your um, multiple apps and you can adjust all this however you want. Um, your controls, heated seat, heated steering wheel. Of course, it is 14 degrees outside, so those are a must right now. Um, heated passenger, cooled passenger. Now those are all options. Not every Hellcat Red Eye is gonna have that, but it depends on however you order yours. Um, and then you have your phone settings. And this also does have your Apple Play, which is very nice. Um, if you kind of come back here, um, this car does have the Alcantara suede package, which is really nice. Um, and uh, the upgraded interior trim panels, but it's a Dodge, so don't expect, you know, a Mercedes when you get interior quality in this car um, you come over here you are able to kind of customize your your gauge cluster uh, however you want and it uh, allows you to change every aspect of the information that you see on the screen um, and you can see a lot of those performance gauges right here on the dash that you could see um, on the other main screen so it allows you to really kind of keep an eye on everything. I always keep mine on the uh, intercooler temp just because I like to know what the temperature is because that's one of the most important things for making power in any boosted application. All right, now, one of the nice things about this car is it does have paddle shifters and they are very responsive. As you can see, upshift. Okay, it's pretty, pretty responsive. Now what else is nice about this car is, is if you hold down on the left paddle shift, which is the down paddle shift, and hold it for a second, it will automatically go to the highest maximum gear allowed for where we're at. So, as you can see here, now the car gets shitty. It doesn't matter if you're going less than 75 miles an hour, this car on stock tires is going to provide zero traction. It's going to break loose, so you have to be ready for that. That comes back into play where I was talking about those traction control settings. Right now, it's on track, so it allows you to get kind of out of shape before it says, whoa, let's reel them back in. If it's on street, you get maybe a fraction of that. Um, it's just one of those things to think about if you're an inexperienced driver hopping in a high-performance car. our video. If you got a second, click the subscribe button right down here in the corner. We'd really appreciate it. We have a lot more videos coming up and a lot of action to see. Later this week, we're going to be taking this red eye and putting it on the dyno to see what kind of horsepower it makes at the wheels in stock form. Then we're going to put a cold air intake on it while it's strapped to the dyno to see if there's any gains. We also have another racing and randomness vehicle unveil coming up soon and we also have a feature on a twin turbo lambo with a twist so stay tuned click subscribe and thanks for watching